Hey everybody, Rartobrar here, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario World. Last time we uh, cleared up the Forest of Illusion. In this episode, we will be taking on Roy's Castle. So let's get started. Um, as I've said before, Roy is my second favorite Koopa Kid. He's he's pretty cool. Um, his castle, unfortunately, is probably one of my least favorites. I I hate his castle. Oh man. <laughs> Uh, you know what? <laughs> I think I'll leave that in just because it was really funny. Oh god, that was that was hilarious. <laughs> Anyways, I hate his castle because there this one gimmick right here is the fucking snake, the block snake. I, it's not that it's hard. Well, it can be hard, but it's just annoying sometimes. And the fireballs that come out will hit the snake somewhere and bounce off and it depends on how far the snake is and relative to where you are on the screen so sometimes it can bounce off it and then you know it's completely going the opposite direction but other times it'll bounce off it and you'll be so close to the ceiling that it'll totally just annihilate you like like those except sometimes it'll keep bouncing inwards and you'll pretty much have no way to avoid it at all so yeah, other than that, this isn't a bad castle. I mean, well, this is the entire castle, so. Uh, spikes. Uh, as you can see, there's a discolored spike there. That means it'll fall. We've probably seen those already. And I believe that is the end of... No, oh, God! <sighs> Alright, I'll cut back to that. Oh my god. Alright everybody, <laughs> we're back. That was a lot harder than it should have been. Oh my god. If you hit this, that one up will come down and you can get it. I'm not gonna though. Because I don't really don't want to. <laughs> um well, I guess you can wander over here and it'll be safe. You'll just come out over to you. Um get a cape from here and don't get hit by the fireballs, please. Use it to float over those fireballs. Oh, gee. Oh. Pointless, cave. It's pointless. Anyways, good god. That, that should not have taken that long. Roy is just like Morton, except the walls will close in on you. And see, he has sunglasses and a collar, and he, he's just badass. He's got pink head, you know. He's my, he's my second favorite for a reason. Boing. Yes, and that is, that is Roy. After how many deaths? I can't even I can't even tell you how many. <laughs> I'll put them all at the end of this video as a montage. And we're seven minutes into this recording, so Jeez, I don't I'm not sure when to stop this. <laughs> Thank you. No problem, Yosh. Oh this one this ending's kinda funny. Ba 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 ba. And there goes Mario's hat. Mario found his way through the forest of illusion and has put an end to the Roy Koopa of Castle Number 5 onward to the dangerous but tasty Chocolate Island. Yes, guys, we're going to Chocolate Island, and it is delicious. Yes. <laughs> uh, Chocolate Island is probably one of the levels I know the least about. Like, uh, I have done a lot of research on these levels in the past couple days just so I would be well prepared for them because I honestly I do not know these levels nearly as well as I should so I do know where all the secret exits are and all that jazz but beforehand I was not prepared for it but I am now so don't worry about it as long as I don't die a crap ton like I did in the fucking castle uh, it's not a hard castle guys it's just hard for me per se I'm gonna jump through this and get shot in the space no, just over this guy. Um, I believe the big guys are called Dino Rhinos, and, uh... Uh, I don't know. I'll put on screen what the little ones are called. It's Dino something, I believe, or something Rhino. It's a variation of the first, of the big one. But, as you can see, when you stomp on the big one, they turn into the little ones. I believe their name has something to do with the name of the big one and, uh, Fire, or something like that. So, it's not overly complicated. Um, I believe you can actually- hold on. I think you might be able to go down one of these pipes. I'm not completely sure, though. I'm- I'm check yeah, this one. You can go down this one. And you can go into- oh, this level. With dolphins. 
like a one-up and there's dolphins. I like the dolphins, just not the porcupine. Or the porcupuffer fish. Whatever the name of it is. There'll be a segment at the end of the game where it corrects everything I've ever said that's wrong in this game, pretty much, so... <laughs> Whatever. Poof! Ah, goodbye, Yoshi. You're supposed to hit the Koopa, but, you know, Yoshi is a slave for a reason. Boink, and we completely missed it, like a dumbass. Good god. Course clear. Yaw. Up next, we have a ghost house. Um, it's a very short go ghost, ho ghost house. Yeah, a ghost house, guys. No, it's a very short ghost house. Um, I believe this is one of the few, I think, if not the only one, that doesn't have two exits. This only has one exit, guys. So, yeah. Uh, by the way, these guys right there are called Eeries. Uh, I did not know that before, but I know that now. So, yeah, they're Eeries for future knowledge. Come on. Oh, God. Lots of uh, good platform. That is the Fishin' Boo, and I believe that's the first time we see him is in this level. He'll try to hit you with fire and murder late you. Oh, wow. <laughs> not gonna lie, we should have died there. I'm gonna get this, just because I can. I'm also gonna try not to get hit by Eeries, or the Fishin' Boo. Which can be easier said than done sometimes. Uh, no. I'm gonna get the Mushroom, because I want to be safe. <laughs> and the upcoming room. Oh, god. Oh, sh Yeah, as you can see, the holes in the floor can prove to be a problem, but you can easily avoid them. Uh, these are... I believe these are also Boo Buddies, but except they turn into cement, and you can use them as a platform, which is actually how you get out of this level. You see that door up there? Well, no, if you don't have a cape, you kind of need these guys. I'm not sure what the big ones are. They might just be normal Boo Buddies. I'm not sure. As you can see, we're going to use them. Uh, let's get them over here this way a little bit more. I need to get them to the right height. Uh, yeah, no. Alright, I'm gonna... Hmm, I need to get them higher. Alright, now come over here. <laughs> there you go. Now you get up there like that, see? If you go right, I believe you can get a mushroom and there's another concrete boo, buddy. But I think that's about it. Oh, two more! Two more! Oh man, we need two more for the special level. Oh well, we can get them in the next world, hopefully. All right, this is oh man, this is a very diverse world. <laughs> yeah, it's it's very crazy. Lots of ways to go through this world. Uh, one way is all right. Pretty much, there's a total of four different rooms you can go through for the second part and the third part maybe I might be wrong in that don't 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 take my word but there's only two exit there's a normal exit and then there's a secret exit first we're gonna go for the normal exit all right which requires us to have a less than 250 seconds on the clock by the time we get to the end of this point I believe yeah, we have to have less than 250. For the secret exit, you have to have 250 or more. So for this, for the secret exit, we're going to have to pretty much speed run through. This. So we have less than 250. And we're going to go down to the third room. Oh, Yoshi. I'm going to keep you, because I'm just in case. Um, For the, which second room you go to, I believe it's coins. How many coins you have. But for the third and fourth room, I believe it's just time. And... What? Oh, okay, this is weird. Okay, yeah, I guess that's the end of it. That's the real exit. I, I believe there's more than one real exit, but there is only one secret exit. Pretty sure. And we get a bonus game. Let's not mess it up this time. We will. We'll mess it up. Don't worry. Yeah, we already messed it up. Oh man, that's horrible. Yeah, we get one. <laughs> one, yay! Yeah. Alright, and I'm not gonna cut this because I feel like I need to show it. Chocolate Island. Cool. Now we're gonna go for the secret exit, hopefully. If I don't get the first try, I'll cut here and bring it back when you when we get it. We're just gonna run, we're not gonna get anything. 
Not even the one up right there. We're gonna avoid this dude and just keep going. Alright guys, we made it, finally, Jesus Christ. That is not that hard of a level. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is the secret exit, you see, once you see the chucks, you know you're safe. Ugh. Grab the key and go in the hole. Jeez, I should put a death counter in this video, oh my god. And that is the secret exit. Uh, we're gonna do one more level, and then I'm gonna end the recording. <laughs> we're gonna do... Chocolate Secret. Sounds like a very dirty surprise. This is, um, the only level in the game besides... Oh, one of the Vanilla Dome levels, I can't remember which one, that has Blargs in it. Uh, Blargs are pretty cool. They're probably one of my favorite enemies. Oh, there we go. She don't care. Come here, Mushroom. I need your face. Uh, football chucks are abundant in this level. God damn it. Oh, jeez. Give me that cape, please, Mr. Face. Saying, oh, God. Chuck, you son of a bitch. Oh, my God. So much death. I'm going to go in here because this is much safer than going through the rest of the level. Despite the amazing flying hammer, bro. I believe that's his name. The amazing flying hammer, brother. And that skipped a portion of the level. So, yes. I'm going to go up there. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come back to that. I don't even care. All right, guys. This is the first time I've made it back here alive, so let's start here, I guess. You can slide down this hill and take out all the buzzy beetles. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to make a death montage out of that. Uh, I don't know if I'll post that as another video or as at the end of this one. I'll see how much time I have, but... Oh my god, guys, that was horrible. Ugh, anyways, you just slide down here, and you go down here. Uh, I'm gonna stop after this level, so, yeah. <laughs> Buzzy beetles. Oh god, spin jump them to leave. Um, there's a semi... Uh, one. It, it could be hard, I I'm not sure. It's not really hard, that's the problem, it's just uh, timing. Alright, right. You gotta jump on these, and these will all fall, and you gotta try to make it to the end without hitting the lava, because regardless of how big you are, lava will kill you. If you have a star, I believe it will still kill you. Good grab. Super mushroom. <laughs> Just go. <laughs> Forget the chucks. They're assholes. And we're gonna go again. Careful in this part, because these slopes can be kind of tricky. Oh my god, oh my god, god, oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> That's gonna be it. We're gonna hit the tape, and then I'm done with this for now. Oh my god. Whew. Good lord. Alright, guys, this has been Rar Toby Rar. Thanks for watching. Next time uh, in Super Mario World, we will not do Wendy's Castle, but we will go back to the level we were at before. Alright, um, if you like this, you can comment, share to Facebook or Twitter. You can like it, or you can subscribe if you so wish. Alright, guys, thanks. Bye. Ah, oh, fuck. <sighs> fuck. <laughs> oh, damn it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, I'll keep Koopas in here and get a one-up or so, but I'm not gonna. Oh, God. Oh. <sighs> All right, come on, come on, come on. I don't care. Damn it. Nope. What? God damn it! <laughs>